To start this speed test, first start with the default PowerPoint slideshow and in the first slide for the title, put one, subtitle one. Set up your second slide uh, by just inserting a new slide and typing two and dog and cat as bullets. Set up your third slide as three with bird and frog. And your fourth slide, just with the uh, text that says four. And once you do that, so I'm going to pause and let you get all that done. And uh, then you can restart this video to get started. Step one, we're going to format slide one. So make that active. And we're going to select the placeholder for the word one where the title is. We're going to change it to Arial Black. I'm going to do the same thing for slide two. And the same thing for slide three. Just the titles change to Arial Black. The same thing on slide four. Just change the title to Arial Black. Now we're going to make sure four is the active slide. And you're going to insert a new slide with a two content uh, placeholder layout. And we're going to add the word five in the title. Then we're going to take the slide five and put it after the slide one, so we're changing the order. Then we're going to delete slide five. We're going to select slide one and change the layout to a title and content. On slide one, we're going to move the title placeholder where the word one is. And we're going to move it to the bottom of the slide. Then we're going to copy this placeholder with the word one in it. And we're going to paste it onto slide four. Then on slide one, we're going to insert a text box and type the word text box in there. Then we're going to change the size of the slide to the standard four by three proportion and ensure fit. Select slide two, copy and paste the word cat. Paste it into slide three into the content pane there. Next, we're going to change the background of slide three to a light peach color. Then 
And we're going to change the theme to the facet theme. We're going to add a transition called push. We're going to apply it to all slides. We're going to change the direction of that push uh, with the options. We're going to change it to come in from the left. We're going to set the duration of that transition to be five seconds. We're going to set an automatic advanced slide that will happen after 10 seconds. We're going to remove the transition on slide four. We're going to change to the slide sorter view. And we're going to put slide three to the beginning of the slideshow. Switch back to normal view. Go to the end of the slideshow quickly and color the word that says four to red. We're going to find the word dog and replace it with the word alligator. We're going to select everything on slide four. And delete it. We're going to add a section after slide one and before slide two. And we're going to call it our first section. And we're going to find the word cat. And color it red. On slide one, we're going to add some notes. And the notes will say, here are some notes. We're going to turn the rulers off. And we're going to put the notes page view on. And then we'll go to outline view. And we will add some text on slide four. that says some text. Then we'll return to normal view.
on slide four. Right now we're active on slide four. We're going to play the slideshow from the current slide. We're going to annotate and just put a purple circle anywhere in there. We're going to use the laser to circle around. We're going to switch to the slide sort of view. We're going to change to one any other slide. We are going to swap the presenter view with the full screen view. And we're going to end our slideshow. When you end your slideshow, keep your annotations. Then you're going to go to where you put your annotation, which should be on slide four, and delete it. Now you're going to uh, make the slide for the active show, but start the slideshow from the beginning. And end the slideshow. And that's the end of this speedy test.